no, just on its on its most basic essential level, um, cyber risk is a type of risk, right? So when we look at what's risk, it's it's exposure to loss, um, a bad thing that's happening, right? A bad thing that could potentially happen, and that possibility is actually really important because risk is actually statistical. Um, it, you know, when you have risk, that doesn't mean the bad thing's necessarily going to definitely happen tomorrow. It means it could happen now or tomorrow or next year, there's some amount of chance of that happening. And then when that happens, there's some amount of chance that it'll either be a little bit bad or very, very bad. Mm. Um, and, you know, how bad really depends on what type of risk, what are, what are the, you know, what, what, how much of a loss, who did it affect? Um, in general, when we talk about risk um, in, in cyber risk, we're talking about, you um, risks that impact cyber technical systems, um, but organizations have all sorts of risks, um, many of which can be associated with cyber, some of which aren't always associated with cyber, but are uh, but have a cyber angle to them. And I just want to talk about those because when we're thinking about cyber risk, if we're not thinking about all of these things, mm -hmm. we're not really performing the mental exercise to put us in a place where we can anticipate a, a, a cyber risk. So, um, there's, I think asset risk is the thing that's most closely associated with cyber. The idea that an attacker is going to break in and they're going to like break a device. They're going to put ramp crypto wear on it. They're going to ransom you, right? It's, it's they're breaking and they're impacting a specific asset. Um, I want to stretch that definition a little bit because mm -hmm. while I think physical assets are something people are familiar with, there's also data assets. There's people assets. Um, there's lists of things that an organization have that can be inventoried so that you could say, oh, yeah, this is a user account that was that's safe or not safe. This is a PC that's safe or not safe. It has important company data on it or it doesn't. Right. Um, so that's assets. Um, but there's also political or regulatory risk um, that's oftentimes associated with cyber. So I'm talking about things like um, in the case of regulatory risk, I think people are familiar with, oh, I'm. You need to be HIPAA compliant in the healthcare industry, right? You might need to be GDPR compliant if you're in the marketing industry. Um, but there's also political risks. And um, increasingly in this world, um, political fallout anywhere in the world could have an impact on cyber technical systems in, in, in your house, in your company, right? Um, and then, of course, there's there's legal risks. So... Um, you might think about um, either contractual or liability issues related to a failure of cybersecurity. Like if, if, if there's a failure of cybersecurity, am I legally going to be in trouble? Is my organization going to be at risk? Is there going to be a liability associated with, oh, there was an incident and now, now I'm responsible for damages? Um, and then operational risks, which I this is the thing I learned earliest in my career about cyber technical. If there's a cyber technical failure, is your organization even going to be able to operate? You know, if the printers go down and you're a company that ships physical products, um, that actually means you can't ship anymore. If you can't put the shipping labels on, um, you can't ship. And in some organizations, if you're not shipping for an hour, you've lost mm -hmm. a bunch of money and you mm -hmm. will never get that money back because there's a there's a limit to how much you can ship in a day. Right. Mm 